a moment of life and death captured in real time near the top of the K2. The group of climbers in this video can be seen just 1,300 feet away from the top of the world's second highest mountain. But rather than celebration, some face criticism after a porter collapsed on the route. Mohammed Hassan, a father of three, had slipped from a narrow ledge at around 8,200 metres. But a video shows part of a group climbing over him, pushing on to reach the summit. We are very happy to be here. Record-breaking mountaineer Kirsten Harila was among the climbers determined to set a new record, filming this video before she says she knew her son was dead. Harila, though, believes she and her team did everything they could. We tried to rescue him for many hours, and it's a very, very uh, challenging and dangerous mountain, and we were probably on the most dangerous place, and it was an accident, and we tried what we could. But footage of the fatality, captured by mountaineer Philip Flamig, tells a different tale, and so does he. It's really terrifying. They had to literally step over this body when he was lying there on this little ledge, which is like this. All these people needed to pass him. He was still alive. In the next picture I saw, okay, they are up. There was just one person rubbing him. Uh, I said, why, why didn't they brought him down? Some of the climbers have now met with Hassan's family who are coming to terms with their loss. But for those who were there with him, at the end of his life, questions over whether they did all they could to save him. Shimon Freeman Powell, Sky News.